Good work. And then, can we do, hi kitty, that one. This is the perk of having a boyfriend that's 6'5". It's Sunday and we did a lot of deep cleaning today. So I wanted to do a little apartment tour, kind of very low key. But I am gonna show you guys around and kind of tell you where some things are from. I really love this apartment because the kitchen is open concept and I love all of my Smeg appliances. So cute. So these paintings I actually found in my parents' attic. They used to travel a lot and they picked these up in a random country and they were just sitting in our attic and I asked if I could frame them and I think they're really fun. Over here we have this massive mirror. It's from CB2 and it's the largest size that they have. Cat always runs behind it and it freaks us out. This little table was a Facebook marketplace find. Some artists made it and I think it fits the vibe of our apartment so good. This is our bedroom. So our bed is from a sister brand of Wayfair. It's called Birch Lane and it's a great bed. Our duvet is from West Elm. It is a blush velvet duvet cover and it's held up really nice for having two pets. Our nightstands and we have the matching dresser is also from West Elm. And our lamps are just from Home Goods. And I wanna show you guys the view from our bed. So this is the view from our bedroom. If I can get the lighting better. It's kind of a good representation, but I love, love, love them. Um, another cool thing about our apartment is that this building used to be offices and they redid it. 
So we have all these really cool features. Ooh, I almost fell. So we have all these really cool features like this door it has a little letter slot. Like how cute is that? And this like stained glass. Like this is just a closet. Again, more arched windows and our couch that is currently covered in blankets because it's snowing and we have a dog and I don't want her muddy paws getting on it. But this is a boucle couch from CB2 and it is the largest one that they had. And we kind of just opened it so that there's a little entryway, but you can totally just keep those together. We had it like that for a while. It's an awesome couch, especially if you have pets because the boucle fabric is really easy to camouflage <laughs> any sort of damage. Anyways, this is the fabric. It's like an off-white beige color. Um, our table is also from CB2. And originally we wanted a marble table, but they're like really really heavy especially if you're moving all the time so we got this one um it's a really really nice table i don't think you can see details maybe you can but yeah this is also from cb2 another little overview these bar stools were just from wayfair and i like how they complemented the cabinetry behind it and i wanted something super simple that can just tuck away i didn't want backs just because I didn't want to obstruct any view of the open concept. So if you go this way, you will run into my bathroom. And how amazing is this? I have a giant arched window in my bathroom. Like look at all this light. Um, my shower curtain is from CB2, and I like that it matched um, all the black and white tiles. So this is a pretty good overview of my bathroom. It's tiny, but I think it is so quaint and really my aesthetic, so sold on this. And if we keep moving through, you will run into my Peloton. This is the best spot we could come up with, but the Peloton is so handy on days like today when it, it was a complete snowstorm yesterday and I just don't wanna leave the apartment. So nice having Little Miss Peloton. This is our front door, the little bell for Chloe to let us know that she needs to go outside. And then to the right of the door, you come into my office. This is my office. This table is just from Amazon, which it was like $100. And they had a similar one on CB2. And yeah, I scored that. This dresser is from Pottery Barn. The, all the products that I have lined up there are balancing on an acrylic shelf. My little vanity mirror is from Impressions Vanity. It is like if you're into makeup, that is such a good mirror. This is my very first piece of art that I bought. And my sister found this artist on Instagram. His dad is Vintage Barbie and Ken, and they have some really, really good prints that you can get framed on his site. And it's just, it's a total vibe. This lamp is West Elm. I love that you can mount it on the wall and then just plug it in. You don't need to do any hard, any, oh, what is that? Okay, I don't know electrical stuff. Hard wiring, there we go. My favorite little gift from my parents is this neon sign. They got it through an artist on Etsy and I'm obsessed. This clothing rack, my mom actually owned a children's boutique and it was just sitting in our attic <laughs> and I snagged it. Um, what else is in here? My chair is Target. I think it was Studio McGee, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Drug is West Elm. Chloe's dog crate. Amazon. My sister got this for me and I love it. It says believe in your hashtag selfie. <laughs> totally fits the vibe of my office. But yeah, I am obsessed with this apartment. Um, I don't know how long we will be living here, but for now it is serving us well. Today I decided that I don't want to leave the apartment to go to the gym, so I'm going to hop on my Peloton, do a little 30 minute ride. I love having a Peloton in my apartment for that exact reason. When I don't feel like leaving, I know I can get a good workout in. Fit check! These are my absolute favorite sports bras. They are the Lululemon Energy Bras, and then these are Lululemon Shorts. I can't remember the exact one. Okay, let's turn her on. And then I am just going to do my classic one that I always do. It is, let's find it. Let's go to classes and then my collections. Nope, 
wrong. Um, and then, okay. So once you're in classes, I'm just gonna go to filter and then do the one that I bookmarked. And, dun da da da. Here we are. And then, okay, now I need to put on my shoes. So one second. This is what they look like. Done. Right on cue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put these back on here. Good. Good girl. Here, can you grab the leash? Thanks. Oh gosh. Oh, there's snow plows didn't come. Let's pee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come on, Chloe. Go potty. Well, I don't think I can get into this. Okay. We'll go in through here then. Are you comfortable? Are you enjoying the fire and watching football? While my coffee is brewing, I had to share this with you. So last night, there is like one thing about me is that anytime I hear someone snore, I, and this is why I never did like, well, there's many reasons why I didn't do like sleepovers when I was younger, but it's like when something really, really agitates you to the point where like it hurts you like in your core, that is me with snoring. And I live in an apartment and last night at 2 a.m., my neighbor, and not his fault at all, but I could hear him snoring through the wall. And Adam woke up as well. I started crying. I, and in that moment, I realized I should have earplugs in my nightstand for scenarios like this because my AirPod Maxes were in the office and I didn't want to go in there and wake up my puppy. I asked Adam because he had hunting stuff in his closet. I was like, do you have anything for hunting? Um, and my, my fingers and my ears got 
so sore from plugging my ears and I know that can't be good for you. I turned my sound machine up all the way and didn't do anything. I started crying because when something bothers you that much, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've always been this way about snoring. It's like when you hear nails on a chalkboard, like that's me with snoring. Lesson learned, I need to run to Walgreens today and get earplugs. <laughs> I think God brought Adam into my life. <laughs> For many reasons, but one reason is Adam is not a snorer, which is stunning. There was like the smallest little gap where there was no snoring, and I like tried so hard, like I, I tried so hard to fall asleep, and I ended up falling asleep. Let's get my coffee. Also, I put all of my Smeg appliances together, and I think, I think it turned out so cute. I love my little pink tea kettle. Also, I am a tried and true, just um, strong coffee and half and half, but I was with my mom and I picked up some chai and vanilla syrup. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny dash in my coffee. When I first started drinking coffee, um, hold on, okay. When I first started drinking coffee, I didn't like it bitter, but now like I am obsessed with like black coffee. But adding this little chai syrup makes it such a treat. Let's go. <sighs> Nothing is better than this. Come here. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm currently getting ready for the day and I wanted to do the clean girl makeup look aesthetic for my makeup today. I think I have it really dialed in. So I am going to film this for TikTok but then also repurpose it for YouTube shorts and reels. And I'm contemplating if I wanna film it in the TikTok app and then just use SnapTik to download it without the watermark once I post it, but then the quality decreases. Or if I should use CapCut, but CapCut takes up so much storage on my phone that I just got a new phone and the storage is already going so quick and it's because of cap cut so honest to god i have no idea how emily kaiser has any sort of storage on her phone because if you film like in your camera roll and then use cap cut like it takes up so much storage i'm gonna go do my makeup and then i'll hop back on to show you the final look it's just like the makeup i've been into lately i feel my best when i have less on i'll show you guys once it's done my audience 24 7. i mean i love this i would not trade this for the world i think pets are the biggest blessing that anyone could ever have <laughs> it's just so funny to me <laughs> like i can't do anything in peace this is the finished clean girl makeup look i didn't put any mascara on i feel put together even if i'm not leaving the house <laughs> Now it's time to clean all of this up. I actually really need to clean my makeup brushes, so ugh, I really don't want to. The girls that get it, get it. And look at all those. I feel, <sighs> I am absolutely starving. I think I've been at this for a few hours now and I am exhausted and I think Chloe and I should go to Starbucks and treat ourselves and then maybe come back, do some more tax work and some other work related stuff. But from a creative side, I am freaking done for the day. Look at the sun. Oh, look at this sun. We are so lucky today. Oh. Wow. I always say, if you live in a place that has sunshine more often than not, you are so blessed. I instantly feel better. Like, no wonder everyone in Florida is happy. Oh. Yes. I feel like a million freaking bucks right now. Thank you, son. Thank you, God. 
and I checked the forecast and we should be having complete sun for the next couple days. Thank you. God bless. I am going to stand right here and let the sun do its thing. God, this feels so good. It's so warm. Granted, it's probably like 10 degrees out, but oh, this feels so good. Midwest problems. Did you take my spot? Miss, did you take my spot? Mm. <laughs> Same clothes. While we are here, I wanted to talk about TikTok virality, okay? Because, I mean, everyone on the app thinks TikTok virality is like the best thing ever. And with going viral, you receive like, you receive opinions from people that like, really don't need to be voicing an opinion to you, right? So I did a heatless curling video and I showed the results and the results were so beautiful and therefore the, the video went viral. This girl commented, these videos are so obvi curled using heat tools first and I say that as someone who does great heatless curls all the time. There's just a difference. Okay. Why would I waste my time? Like I don't care that much enough to go viral to put out false info. You know like I don't care enough to be like, oh, I need to fake it so I go viral. Like, that's not me. That's like, why would I, why would I ever want to do that? Everyone has a different hair texture. My hair holds a style so easy. I have very wavy and thick hair. I also have layers. The curls that I make may not look the same on you. And that's simply because we are all different human beings. Like, if you have super fine and thin hair, no. This will not work for you. I'm not trying to say that it will. That's my little rant. Do you guys see this? It is five degrees out. I can see my breath right now. Can you see my breath? Probably not. That was embarrassing. I am going to a coffee shop to do some work. I'm excited to have like a really hot cup of coffee. So let's go. We made it. Let's go. Got my bag. So grab my Stanley. I can't go to a coffee shop without my water. <laughs> 